Okay, hello. So this is a, just a small tutorial working with uh, Premiere Pro CC 2015.3. If you're me, you would have recently updated to the new version of Premiere. And uh, you might have actually noticed that uh, Premiere, it, it basically got rid of all of the audio on all of your previous projects. Uh, and that is directly because of some error with um, 2015.3 not being able to read previously uh, cached files under the media cache files folder. Uh, the easiest way to rectify this problem is to simply uh, go to your media cache fo file. Now on Windows, um, it's gonna be in your app data folder. Uh, Mac, I'm not exactly sure. You can probably look up exactly where it is, but the easiest way to get here is uh, go to run, app data, then go into your Adobe folder, go down to common, whoops, go down to common, go to media cache and media cache files. Inside of these two folders, you will see, uh, if you've worked with Premiere a lot, a ton of files, purge them all. Disclaimer, this will get rid of any previously conformed files within Premiere. This is exactly what we want to do. This means that whenever you drag in any previous footage that you've used, for example, B-roll or footage from gameplay, it will have to conform it again. This is exactly what we want, because now 2015.3 will conform the video file again, or whatever you're dragging in, and it will be able to pick up the audio within the file, and then you'll hear audio again on your timeline. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.